cool. Uh, I'm just fitzing. That's for sure. Let's see. Uh, where uh, would the camera go? So we're the Static Age, and uh, this first song is called Amphibian. long time since I heard an absence of reason breathing in water and in dirt amphibious it's been a long time it's been a long time since I heard the words I am Speaking soft as a wall of this is lamps, edge of the bleeding. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. For a time when words still had meaning Searching the words for any sign If this is dignity or why It's been a long time Come on and fall apart now It's every word she whispers she is words, she is words that I can't write It's been a long time Oh, oh, oh. I still words that fall from her red lips Not like I hope We're the Static Age from Chicago by way of Vermont. Um, I'm Joe, I play drums. I'm Andrew, I play guitar and sing. I'm Adam, I play bass. I'm Nico, I play guitar and keyboards. So you've been on tour for, I think, a bit more than a week. How How is yeah. it going so far? It's been a blast. It's awesome to be back. Uh, you know, we uh, took a few years off, uh, in part unintended because of the whole pandemic thing. And uh, it's, yeah, it's been a blast. Is touring Europe any different from <laughs> touring the US? Yeah, yeah, for sure, 100%. And that's an easy answer, yes, it is. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, it, it, people seem to take much better care of the bands here. Uh, even just simple things like uh, having dinner or you know a place for us to sleep, uh, that doesn't really happen in the US. Yeah, it depends on the tour, but yeah, yeah, yeah sure. it's, it's hit and miss. I think um, there's a different sort of value to music, I think, in Europe than, than in the U.S. Music feels a little bit more disposable sometimes. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite a bit different. So uh, being around for 20 years, are there any really memorable memories we would like to share? <laughs> Uh, you had one. I mean, I had one. This is kind of an old <laughs> standard that I used, but it's true. I mean, I guess if, you know, it was the first thing that came to mind is uh, we had the opportunity to play uh, CBGBs uh, a couple times in New York City. Um, and it was, it was just, I mean, for anybody who grew up listening to punk rock or yeah. anything like that, it's just a, it's, that was kind of it. And we were lucky enough to do it. And I, you know, very thankful for that every day. And that's just me. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I would, I would plus one that for sure. And maybe, maybe Joe and Nico can throw one in. For me personally, I started as a fan of the band before I was even in it. So, yeah. Granted, it's been 11 years since I, maybe 10 or 11 years since I've been in the band, but to, um, 
see uh, a bunch of players doing the things that I would love to do, and then suddenly to be part of the fabric is really quite the trip, so. Though it would have been really cool to play CBGBs, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Nico's got a couple. Oh man, sitting uh, in a van so and a board. So my very first tour with the band uh, was in 2016, and we came. We were on the road for about three weeks, and about three days of that three weeks were spent trying to cross the border from Ukraine into Russia. And uh, I definitely remember at one point uh, cooking in our van that had no AC as we were waiting to get denied at the border crossing, thinking like, what? What did I do? Where did my life go wrong? <laughs> but of course we crossed and the shows were amazing and, and you know, it, it's one of my, now one of my fondest memories of, of playing with the band. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a good one too. I, uh, I think, I mean, there are really so many um, spanning a couple of decades almost. Another one that comes to mind though is um, being a small band from Vermont, which is a small state in the US, sort of the middle of nowhere from the woods. Um, and some of the early things that were happening for us, um, like uh, AFI hearing our demo and pulling us on a tour with them, kind of out of nowhere. We got a call one day that was like, hey, what are you guys doing next month? You want to like tour across Canada with AFI? And again, for kids from the woods, it was like, holy shit, like how did that happen? So I think there have been a series, but, uh, but that one comes to mind for sure. All right, so this next song is called uh, Eulogy. The forest, so whispers in my head, throwing shadows of the years that we did to call the wolves to our night's edge. Faith alone, they caution down to rest, rattling like the lovers we'd love to for. We learn to run with them Call the neighbors out Under the tin light of the moon Scatter your simple doubts Give up the tragedies you choose Call on sky, scrape our hearts Call on the lovers you will Saved you back at the river where we go to lose our breath, chasing glory of not failing like others fail. But the current might always win. Stuck with our new gods for old faith, new skin for cold ideas. Way that we do things around here. Under the tin light of the moon Scatter your simple doubts Give up the tragedies you choose Call on sky, scrape our hearts Call on the lovers you will lose It's simple, but it might have saved you Scatter your simple doubts Give up the tragedies you choose Call on sky, scrape the hearts Call on the lovers you will lose It's simple, but it might have saved you Saved you. It's simple, but it might have saved you. It's simple, but it might have saved you. It's simple, so 
How did the band get together in the first place? Um, so uh, Adam and I uh, both grew up in Vermont. Um, we were in a couple of different punk and hardcore bands in high school and our bands played together. Um, and then one of my bands, our bass player left the band and uh, we asked him if he wanted to join up. And then I didn't play bass, I played guitar, and I was like, yes, I can play bass, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you figured it out very quickly. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we spent a year in this band called The Hemlock Project together, um, and at some point along the way, um, we started to play with a different sound. We were sort of a thrashier punk band. Um, and, uh, and the Static Age was born out of that. How did, how did it happen that you, as a fan, joined the band? Okay, so um, I went to see a band called Tiger Army at a place called the Vic Theater in Chicago. And um, there was an opening band that me and the, the person I was going with, we were, were like, should we see a band called the Static Age? What do you think? Yeah, let's <laughs> get there early. Let's, let's, yeah, let's go check. Let's just, you know, we pay for the tickets. Let's go, let's go check it out. And about the, uh, they were the first band on the bill. And like two songs in, I looked at the person I was with and I said, I would love to be in a band just like this. And then, um, I think a couple weeks had passed or something, and um, I had messaged the band on MySpace <laughs> and had uh, had the uh, the guts to be like, "Hey, if you ever need a drummer, and you know, let me know," because I had you know I had just gotten out of school and I had time to you know pursue something cool. And um, it, it turned out they had a touring drummer, and then what was it like a year later? You had moved to Chicago for yeah. school as well. Yep. And we connected, we were maybe gonna start something else aside from this, and then the timing just worked out, and that was, yeah, 11 years ago, so. <laughs> well, that's a little tidbit I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> How did you sleep over that one? I, no, 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 no. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I wasn't living in Chicago, so I was still living in the sticks in Vermont, right. so. That's good, you learn something every day. What other band? Pardon? <laughs> It, just, it, it wasn't going to like you know uh, impact the status. Oh no, I know, I no, no, I, I know that. I, I but know, it might not. It was you, know, <laughs> you, you never know when you get in the band. And I, <laughs> uh, so you released a single this year, I think earlier this year, and also there's a new album coming out on Spam Records. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, we've been kicking around a bunch of songs over the last handful of years since our last tour. Um, and uh, we're rolling them out one by one. So we released a couple already that'll be on the album. Um, we, uh, we're working out exactly what the next batch of songs is going to be, but um, we'll have an album out sometime next year. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I think that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Have a great show tonight. Thanks. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. All right, so this, uh, this next one is called Depths. in the sand Down here are whispers and sighs Come out like thunder Till the thunder is the only thing we Taunt them, but never ever even learn to swell. Hey, got lost along the way, straight out past the breaking point, caught beneath the waves. The 
water so clear enough, clear enough to wait. The undertow will break in between the waves. Currents always change. always change In the heat of the dark We keep breathing Amphibious and hiding from the light we we'll go on and on and on Till it's over Till we ever learn To get it right On and on and on Until our hearts stop Till the end It steals us away From all the others But we never ever even learn to Swim Hey Got lost along the way Straight out past a breaking point Caught beneath the way Water so clear enough, clear enough to wait. The undertow will break in between the waves. Currents always change. Awesome. <coughs> All right.